Now let's do ratio and proportion. At part pa rin ito doon sa cadetship na review material na post ni, hindi pala post, message pala ito galing kay Luella Joy. The question here is, the ratio of male to female cadets at the academy was 9 is to 2. There, if there were 12 females at the classroom, how many male cadets were at the classroom? Is it 24, 33, 55, or 54? The ratio of male to female. Isulat muna natin para klaro sa inyo, this is male is to female. Male is to female is 9 is to 2. If there were 12 females, dito natin lagay si 12, at the classroom, the question here is how many male cadets were at the classroom kung ito yung ratio nila, 9 is to 2. Ano ba yung ratio? Yung ratio, simplified na numbers na sila. Bali, na-list na, -list na yan siya sa actual na mga numbers. Yun yung meaning ko sa ratio. Doon tayo sa Google. A ratio is a relationship between two things when it is expressed in numbers or amounts. Basahin natin yung example nito. For example, if there are 10 boys and 30 girls in a room, the ratio of boys to girls is 1 is to 3. Isa pang meaning sa ratio. The quantitative relation between two amounts showing the number of times one value contains or in contained within the other. In other words, ito yung list. Ngayon, ang hanapin natin ay yung number sa male, given yung female. Itong female ay 12. Para maging 2 yan, 12 divided by 2 is equals to 6. Bali, si 2 ay minumultiply ng 6 para maging 12. Kung anong ginawa natin dyan, yan din ang gagawin natin dito sa male. 9 times 6 and that is 54. So ang sagot dito ay letter D, 54. Magbigay lang tayo ng isa pang... Another example with regards sa ratio and proportion. Example natin yung halimbawa 20 sa male, example lang ito, tapos sa female ay 10. Therefore, ang ratio nila ay 2 is to 1. Paano ba? Hinanap lang natin yung greatest common, hanapin lang bali yung greatest common factor nitong dalawa. Ang greatest common factor ay 10. So, 20 divided by 10 and that is 2. 10 divided by 10 and that is 1. Ito yung ratio na dito sa actual number of male and females. Ngayon, kung sakaling isa dito ang hindi given. In case ito ang hindi given at ito yung given, one is, uh, 2 is to 1. Tapos, ang binigay ay there are 20 males. So, ngayon, 20 divided by 2 and that is 10. So, bali, nag-multiply tayo ng 10 dito sa 2 para maging 20. Yan din ang gagawin natin sa kabila. So, 1 times 10 and that is 10. Yan yung ratio and proportion kapag mga ratio. Anyway, Ilaglagay ko sa description ng video ito yung iba pang mga examples with regards sa ratio. Kaya, si description ng video ito, i-click nyo yung mga links na isi-share ko. Thank you.